This is a very specialized video. It's, you know, if you're interested in doing a school bus conversion, this one might be helpful. We're trying to find out how it works to buy a bus in Oregon, a school bus in Oregon, and then register it in Nevada as a recreational vehicle. So what we want to do is buy a, um, a school bus, and it's up in Portland. I think it's registered in Oregon. And we want to drive it down and then register it in Nevada and turn it into an RV. You want to do what? We, so we're going to take a we're going to take a school bus and turn it into a recreational vehicle. And so we want to register the the okay. bus as an RV in Nevada, but we we're going to buy it in Portland, Oregon. Okay. Um. How how does that work when we're driving it down? Can, is there like a temporary status that we can get um, from? Not from us, not until it's here in Nevada. You have to get that from Oregon to bring it down here. Oh, okay. So yeah, we don't have anything to do with it until the vehicle itself is within the state lines of Nevada. And then once I get it here, what are the requirements for registering it as a, a recreational vehicle in Nevada? Well, you have to get it inspected after you make all the changes to it for whatever you're going to be doing, putting beds or whatever you're going to put into it. And then it would have to be inspected and be classified as... A, uh, a recreational vehicle. Okay, and then what are the, uh, are there any specs that we have to hit specifically so that we can get it classified as a recreational vehicle? Mm, just a minute. Where are you going to be doing that? What part of the state? Oh, in Reno, Nevada. In, uh... Okay, let me get you over to Compliance Enforcement and see if they can help you out with that, okay? Great, thank you. You have reached the Department of Motor Vehicles Compliance Enforcement Division. Our office hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sorry we are unable to take your call at this time. Please leave your name, number... Record your message after the tone. When you've finished, you can hang up or press 1 for more options. Thank you. Hello, this is Bonnie calling back from Compliance Enforcement. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Thanks for hi. returning my call. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you're calling about. Okay, so what we're going to do is buy an old school bus. Get an idea for the specs that we need to uh, get it registered as an RV. Okay, that would be something you need to talk to our registration about. That, we don't have anything to do with that here in the Twins Enforcement Division. Huh, registration just forwarded me to here. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I can't help you. I should probably just talk to the registration people again. Maybe I'll get somebody else on the line who's a little bit more helpful. Yeah, let me try to put you back through there. Hold on a moment. I'm, I apologize for that, sir. No problem. Thank you. Uh-huh. Your call may be monitored for quality assurance. If you don't want your call monitored, you should disconnect now. Nevada TV, this is Heather. How can I help you? Hi Heather, I'm um, curious about registering an RV in Nevada. What's the process for that? Okay, do you outright own it or are you making payments? And so we'll pay cash for it. Oh, okay. okay. All right, can you give me just a moment to get the requirements for that? Excellent, thank you. Oh, wait, are you still there? Yeah. Um, it'll be a private party. Private party? Okay. Alright, so then, yeah, so definitely you'll just need the proof of Nevada insurance, the title, and then what county are you going to be registering it in? Washa. You need to get the smog inspection. Uh huh. Do you have the wait for the bus? If it's 26000 or under, you can just register it with the document they told you, the title and all that, until you can. It. And then if I register it just as a bus then, and then I can register it as an RV once it becomes a conversion? Or should I just leave it registered as a bus? Exactly. So yeah, you'll, you'll register it as the bus since you're not going to convert it yet because there's a lot of stuff when you're going to convert it. Because you'll need a permanent place for sleeping, eating, preparing food, a permanent restroom. You'll need a white, gray, and black water tank. And then you'll need to go to the inspection station. They'll, get, they'll inspect it, make sure all of that is in there, and then they'll give you a form to take to like a licensed auto body mechanic to check it over and fill it out, and then you'll need to bring that back. 
Oh, okay. Um, okay, so you so there's a there's a big list of stuff. So I just I'll just want to drive it straight to Nevada, get it registered as a bus, and then I'll bring it back in and register it as an RV. Yeah. Okay, cool. And what's the cost on each time I'm registering it? Wow, that's annoying. They literally can't give you an idea for how much registration costs unless you go in in person. But you don't need the bus. You just need to go in in person. Hey, I'd just like a quote on a on for um, insurance for a uh, a school bus that we're buying. For a school bus? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a little bit more specialized as far as coverage. Mm -hmm. goes, um, I mean, is it like a school bus for personal use, or? Yeah, we're going to turn it into like an RV, like a really nice um, kind of tiny house. <laughs> that sounds really cool. Um, you know, yeah, something more specialized and modified like that would be something the agent would do. Uh, but what I could do is get like a follow-up for you tomorrow. Okay, sure. It's a good time for you perhaps to speak to the agent. <laughs> Excellent. All right, well, congrats on that. That sounds super cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll have the agent follow up. Thank you for calling. All right, thank you. Have a great day. We have a plan now, so I know how to bring a bus here. I still need to get permission. Maybe tomorrow I'll call Oregon and make sure I can drive the bus legally out of Oregon, and then I should be fine. It seems like the process for registering it in Nevada is actually a little bit straightforward even though I have no idea how much it's going to cost. The bus that we're looking at right now is really cool. It was used for Whole Foods. They did this really cool project for it. And um, I really like the guy who's selling it and I believe that it's in really great condition. It's got a 5.9 liter Cummins diesel engine in it and an Allison transmission, which I'm told and I've read a lot about. These are pretty hardcore, bomb-proof sort of uh, truck ingredients. So I've got a few more calls to make tomorrow and um, then we're still gonna try to set up this deal. I hope that it works out.